So what did you guys do on the day after Christmas? Enjoy time with your family? Maybe you took down some Christmas lights. Maybe you went ahead and went, um, Christmas, you can't go Christmas, you can't go Christmas Carol after, after the, like, Christmas, right? I don't know, I kind of want to go Christmas Caroling now, even though it's January. Guys, what you probably didn't do, was went to a Milford bar, and stole a life-size tea Hagen cutout. And that's exactly what happened here. A man, I'm going to guess very intoxicated would be my guess if I had to uh, put the $100 down on his level of intoxication. I would guess it's probably 1000 through the roof. Decided it was a smart idea to grab the T. Higgins cutout from the bar and bolt through the front doors. Now we got this picture right here. Not because of the fact that we have two pedestrians next to him taking a video of what's happening laughing. We have a ring, uh, ring surveillance camera from the door that's actually taking this video slash picture of this man running out full speed from the bar. Now, luckily, we have a very positive ending to this. Uh, the Grinch that stole Christmas decided that on Thursday he would return the life-size cutout. Basically, I'm going to say it's not damaged. It's not, like, destroyed. I'm going to guess that somebody bet him to do this. He was probably very much intoxicated. Somebody said, hey, man, I bet you won't go ahead and steal the T. Higgins, you know, cutout and run out the front door. And he said, bet, I'm going to go do it. And... I will say from the look of him, he looks very, he looks a lot younger. He looks like he might be like 23, 24, which obviously, you know, when you get drunk, I've never drank in my life, slash had one sip of alcohol, so I don't really know too much. But based on what I've seen from people who do get drunk, um, they do some very stupid things and they do not, they don't really think about their actions while they're doing them. So I'm not too surprised that this occurred. I'm actually kind of surprised this did not happen before at this point. Like, this didn't, didn't happen, you know, like throughout the season. Because I feel like this is probably a very common thing that could happen. But the uh, Main Street Social um, in Milford posted a video of the theft on December 26th. The bar took down the video posted after the person agreed to return the cutout. And i kind of interested in this part, right? Like, how, how did they contact the bar? To agree to return it. Like that phone call must have been awkward. Can you imagine like. Right you're at the Milford bar right. And you're, you're, let's say you work there right. You're just an employee whatever. You get a call. And you're like hey. Hello Milford bar how can I help you. And the person says hey um. Remember the cutout. That like T Higgins cutout. And it's like yeah yeah. Somebody stole it. Like, yeah I'm going to return the cutout. Because I saw the video you posted of me online. Um, how could I return it? Like, I don't even know how that phone conversation would go. Slash the meetup would go. Imagine walking through the bar. And just having the T. Higgins cut out. And being like, um, yeah, I'm returning this. Because, like, I shouldn't have stole it. But I did so Like, that must be, no that would be an awkward confrontation. Especially with the fact that, you know... You did something while you were drunk. I'm going to guess when they would turn it, they're not drunk in any way. They're actually, you know, heavily not intoxicated. Uh, which actually would be more funny if they were heavily intoxicated again. But, yeah, no, this is just a... That would be a very awkward situation. And I'm going to guess that they're not going to get law enforcement involved. I mean, as long as they would turn it and there's no damage to it, I guess they might not. But I feel like there's also a chance that once they get there, they're just going to have the cops there and be like, hey... You know, like, you can't do this. But, again, like I said, that comes down to it, whether or not the business is going to press charges. I think as long as they return it and there's no problems, the business probably just isn't going to do anything about it. Probably going to be like, okay, well, you know, you did it. Don't do it again. And they'll probably put up a sign. <laughs> you know what's funny? It's like, whenever you see a sign that says, like, don't do this, don't do that. And you're like, oh, that's obvious. That's stupid. Why would you post a sign about that? The reason why is probably because somebody at one point in life did that exact act that you think it's stupid. So, there's going to be a sign that says, please do not touch T. Higgins' cutout now. But now one's probably going to sign the wall that says, please not touch, steal, or grab the T. Higgins' cutout. And everyone from now on in the future is going to look at that sign and say, well, duh, who would do this? 
And then you can reference back to this man, this individual right here, um, who went ahead and yes, in fact, did this stupid act that now needs a sign. This is why we need signs in life, guys, because some people get drunk and they steal a T. Higgins cutout. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.